Wig, did you just say wig? Wig, did you just say wig? Wig, okay. I it's know you're Martyr. keeping that in. Now it's recording. It's, it's Martyr. Yeah. We have to <laughs> intro the show anyway. It's not and like this we is... Really like, so. <gasps> we get out! I mean, sometimes you do without telling me, but that's a little different. Um, I'll probably do it, it this is... time, too. Um, Surprise, hi, kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which it's I would not have known if it's you had not told me. And this is, um, <laughs> it's out. like a week after the two-week oh, anniversary. Whatever. Whatever. It's our oh. two, in April it's edition. Two, it's two weeks. Early April. It's no one cares. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, I know. Um, <laughs> catch up. Oh, I realized the other day. Yeah. Well, also something else happened. Did we talk about the last episode? I think we recorded. We recorded like a month before, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then I mean um, that's up to you if you want to. I don't know what you're referring <laughs> to. So uh, I mean right. until four twenty. Okay, no, so anyway, <laughs> you know, don't know what we're talking about. We are. Well, it is legalized. We're, 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 it is legalized. Our, our, uh, it's yes. Who are we doing? Um, who are we doing today, but, Caitlin? Yeah, hey kids, we're just doing a chill talk between me and Caitlin today. So now we have to get the other half of the It's been a busy, busy time, and so we thought we could reacquaint ourselves with our audience. Yeah, I feel like any long time. I'm coming. Uh, yeah. Get a little <laughs> booked and blessed. <black, so. laughs> I really, I'm just like, what the hell is missing? Yeah. Right. yeah. I don't know. Uh, but now you're Please there. text Caitlin <laughs> at. <laughs> yeah, no. How has your text quarantine been? DM How's your pandemic been? Yeah. Oh, well, it's been loaded. Slide in. Because, <laughs> I just want to um, know. Or slide into our like our actual Instagram. We need more people school. following us. I don't want to pay for followers. By night and weekends, I'm a drag queen. So there's always been those Maybe I should do that next anniversary. I'll just buy us a bunch of Honestly, like, were you teaching I feel like it would help us get more No, I don't teach. I work in the main office. Because they look at like how low it is. And they're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's very okay. fair. That's very fair. Yeah. Um, Caitlin, what mm-hmm. do you want to talk about first? Like, oh my God, so I cannot, we're gonna since, since much, it's just us, much, but like, yeah, we it's done, well, like, New York City since, like, education. Is hard. I definitely want to do drag race heavy, especially because this yeah, this episode is coming out like tomorrow. So the finale just happened this weekend, literally. But I just want to start from UK because we like that's where we. Oh yeah. I don't you know. It just makes more sense because UK was shorter. That <laughs> Works for me. Works for me. So yeah, we'll just talk about UK, then we'll talk about season 13 and then the uh-huh. finale, and then we'll in get more in depth now. about so March me and Mark here. Or Mark here and I. My world. Oh. Since oh. Not only our first <laughs> episode, the I guess. Clothes that I work <laughs> <laughs> okay, Drag Race UK. Yeah. One of. I think I could say this after the whole season aired. One of the. But better I've seasons of Drag Race. So come out. I was like, talking I, I to Vicky Deville yesterday, and I was That's like, good. "You know what? Like, Monday if I Tuesday include like international season, seasons so. with like all the yeah, Drag Race, I'm like, this is like my top is. three. My number How one is always going to be season job. six. Number two Same. is All Stars two. Uh, I think Drag Race like, UK two is my like number three, which is insane. I was, I mean, I really, really love the first season of Drag Race UK. How do you even? That's like, what do you even? But y'all are in Queens, right? Yeah, season two. That's Really like, especially far. going through season 13 <laughs> yeah, and having like it air at the same, same time, you really like mm-hmm. got to compare the two. And man, yeah. it just yep. kind of blew Delayed everything out of the like water. <laughs> I yep. I was like uh, actively I have to take the seven ready to, to watch mm-hmm. and like craving and to watch the two, three, uh, season two of Drag Race UK. Like it was just so like I just got had that energy of like early Drag Race. So like yeah, it's so busy for me. And that's where my school is. And yeah, the cast is phenomenal. I didn't want anybody to leave. No! But... <laughs> That's how you know you have yeah. a good season. Yeah. You don't want like, anyone to <laughs> It's the New York way. Even it's the, the Queens New York who like, <laughs> aren't aesthetically <laughs> pleasing or whatever. They still have like, so much personality. So you talked about that, like, um, working for them anyway. In... And there was like drama with like Jenny yeah, leaving early, that was COVID so funny. happening yeah. halfway through. Yeah, like, like, there's so much oh, that happens in like this span of ten episodes. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. insane. Um, it it was a really good know? season. Oh, we we got an entire podcast. Rumors, <laughs> I'll keep it brief. Stars, oh, the international. international uh, no, they definitely filmed um, it. Right. Where were you in South? Yeah, they did that but, like January. All over the place. Uh, like mm-hmm. I was born upstate. And I'm excited to see more. We relocated across like the east. I still. I I think. 
like I said, there's like so many times. Um, but I was Team Taze since the beginning. Same. I was Team Taze since the beginning. Oh, that's so nice though. And like as the season was watching, it felt like rooting for Naomi in season eight. Like it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Like I'm glad she's there. No, I would. I like Lawrence Cheney at least in the like so. Oh, we'll talk about it a little bit later. But like Lawrence Cheney in the beginning like started off so strong and then she kind of plateaued. But Taze just never really took off. You were already there. That's true. Um, I and then have a Bim- Bimini came out of nowhere. For so me. Bimini uh, was also one of the names because I just love her look. She's just oh, like the type. Oh my god! Not the gay. Not the gay. And like, but I was just like, this queen is gorgeous. Like before the season started, I'm like, I we'll see how she does. And like, then she just fucking. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. Last couple, so, like, her <laughs> and Lawrence, like, they, like, winning separated. streaks just switched. Yeah. yeah, it was insane. Where, like, Lawrence was, like, yeah. super yeah. high up, like, when the season is. first started. Then the pandemic ass. happened, and then Bimini got off the back. And we're, <laughs> love that for one you. of the better <laughs> Drag Race songs came out of the season, yeah, too. Yeah, I hope you can see it if you ever Oh, my God. That's my workout I, song. Never see it, I, it's uh, it's a bop. Uh, I've I yeah. halfway uh, half time I'm at work now. Like, I just go bing bing yeah, bong to myself girl. and just like <laughs> I am. Yeah. me up a little bit. So. You are? Well, <laughs> like I'm Spotify, <laughs> so like I just listen to random Drag Race songs. And I mean, then, I like, don't have to. Sometimes pad, the other Big Bang um, song will come on, and I get like blowy. I'm like, oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming, and then I'm like, oh wait, I don't even know what verses these are from the other queens. Dick is not that episode. The only like line I know from Hard. Is just like, well, that's release the, the beast, the bay. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. There are a few dresses um, I can get away but, with. But yeah, what a fun season. Yeah. Um, like, I, maybe I'll rewatch it again soon. Touch, it just so I it, it just felt like really genuine, and that's why I liked it a lot. So when did so. you? What do you start think about the H&M dress controversy? Did you like perform before? Okay. Drag and what Rue um, said about like something that happened unquote, later in life. Like, <laughs> I've always like, um, craved. I guess, so. Attention. I okay. <laughs> yeah. I like some of the com- so, I, I like don't know if Rue made this comment if it was on the TV show like, or what have you, but like then, buying store bought. Um, I think early on, I and critiquing like, in that way is very classist. Um, like not everybody can buy so custom clothing, and oh, yeah. not everybody but, can um, like yeah, like people like, can sew, but like just, doesn't mean you're good at like designing or like tailoring. Like those are three other like different aspects of. To, uh, uh, sewing and creation became, and stuff. So, like, in I think like, buying store bought yeah. for like local gigs is fine, yeah. and you should do that. Yeah. Um, and the thing so with the critique of like, oh, like stone it, it or like just make it like just up it, I think is appropriate for I agree, I agree. Like accessorizing it differently than like, yeah, I I can agree with that full heartedly. And yeah, I feel like New York but, is just its own like special. What was the other thing that I wanted to mention? Um, but South Carolina also has a really cute drag scene. I know a lot of queens from there. Oh yeah, we. Uh, what I, queen my was first this? I'm so confused. I forgot. Joe Black. Oh, Charles Joe Black. Black. Uh, uh, well, he so from Joe like Black's side of what happened, because um, they've been pretty vocal about it on Twitter. Um, so the pandemic too, happened. None of these queens are making any money. They're on Drag Race UK. You're not making any money. They had Joe had to sell all their drag. Um, found out they're coming back. Had to like kind of beg people to. Well, I feel like pageantry is much bigger down compete on the show again. Like I feel like, but also they said kind of the drag path usually. For people just down be, there. Have here a it's a dress, little bit like just the like, look was to be kind put of on a gig gig for home, their group so that's <laughs> what they were going for <laughs> that, that was the comment at 11 yeah. 30 now. um that. was that like <laughs> oh do they like they've an added an to 11 30 like, i get so confused with when i can go home you can now. wear kind of like oh yeah but it's definitely much earlier now which i kind of like not I think that's oh, acceptable I, uh, to a point. I miss, just like, um, half I miss the time it's like living in LA and like the clubs having to close very at basic two, characters, but really closing like, at 1.30. I don't, that means if someone it shows like, over Elevanza by like 12.30. It was a oh, challenge oh, that doesn't ask it. for it. I'm going to be like, <laughs> keep that in the, the post. And yeah. that's happened to the All Stars. Season three and four, I think, like they all got fucked over because they spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars on certain looks and then they ended up being in like a five second like challenge or something. Yeah. 
and it's just your um, yeah, I, yeah. So we're in a pod. I think the whole yeah. comment was kind of like gross <laughs> coming from Rob. Yeah, especially with the pandemic. Our pod shit. is named also after like the whole um, drag podcast. You need a That's team of fifty part. people. <laughs> oh, it is. Isn't it? Yeah, That's and funny. I'm always so confused. Like, I'm like, what do I look, look like? You know, you have a group text <laughs> back in the day. Just like, we remember top model. We remember. Not even that. I'm just like like eighty. It's just the group. Just the group anything chat. It's called group. Was it where like that? Don't say it. Okay, why? <laughs> no one no listens to our podcast. Like, it doesn't matter. It and um, <laughs> there's been that article that, like, okay. so I mean, it's not that serious. It's um, not like I'm like, saying, like, anything. Uh, the race. advice article. It's a very good yeah. read. I, I don't really, even know where it came from. If you like from, Drag Race, I, that was really Gigi. Uh, um, yeah, I also watched uh, Bushy She probably doesn't even know that's another podcast. About it, and they did all this math. <laughs> I guess we calculated do. Oh, wow. I need to see cost. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was interesting. Well, um, these girls are paying too know, much. Like, I can just say that right. Like, some of these I mean, payments why not? are like more than my tuition. <laughs> so and I you're ready. have Ours two, de- three degrees. Thank you. And so, yeah, it's kind of insane to me that to ask a girl to. I don't even know who named like, it. Though. Have custom clothes for a uh, <laughs> main stage it. challenge. I don't know. It, so it bothered me a lot. So how did you get your drag but, name? Um, your drag name I mean, is actually one of my kind of like where I think about it all the time. The <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like, um, I don't know it's why. Really, just oh, catered honor. towards the <laughs> straight. Uh, <laughs> I, hear, yeah. I hear that it's yeah. like. Cause like I uh, love me a good look, a, a certain um, but I love me a better look, look when like it's made. Probably like, young like, gays have no idea what that is. Oh, no yeah, no idea. Um, <laughs> yeah, I definitely respect you <laughs> more if came, it's so I'm from made South by hand. Like all yeah, of Ellie Diamond's um, outfits, I was like, yeah, girl, yeah, you're fucking talented. People were mad about like the same silhouette, but I'm like, she made it. Like it looks great. So Bianca had the same silhouette. She fucking won. She fucking won. So I mean, it should be about your personality too, not just yeah. And um, come to be it, and Patsy that kind of the opposite was kind of shown like in, in season grade, thirteen. I remember going we can kind of get into that yeah. right now. Well, I actually, this, like, I just want to just to wrap it, it up. Museum, um, like some old so Lauren Shady won. Her house Do we think oh, yeah. the right but queen just won? Had, like, all of her old dresses yes. Um, oh. I as much as I love taste and the jewelry, and they were like behind walls of glass. You got to walk through this like house and stuff. And as a third grader, I didn't know she was exactly like the right choice was for the season, just I like overall. With, um, uh, and because I think and yeah. the wrench oh of God, COVID kind of threw in there, like kind of ruined her um, steam. Yeah. Just like before song, COVID, the COVID episode, song. like she was steamrolling yeah. transition, and then like and funny, came coming back, like. And everyone's in a different headspace right now so i i didn't really like give her shit for that, that um and i mean rue loved her I, the writing was on the wall oh, the first episode 100%, 100%. for me i was okay with either um even though i was team case i was okay with either um lawrence or bimini winning i think they mm-hmm. did equal yeah <laughs> bimini slightly won ahead by oh God, one challenge but they were equal um it's the first plus size queen who's ever won drag race that's a big deal and it's the first scottish queen as we learned on the show, Scotland doesn't really have a drag scene. I I figure they're gonna go with Scotland. It just yeah, I was like, if there's not that many queens, <laughs> yeah. And the, this one queen is oh, no. just so exceptional. Then obviously, yeah. My, one day it'll no, change think, it to Patsy um, and Klein. I, yeah, yeah, like she, I said, writing was on the wall, so I'm not mad about it. Um, I as much as I love ah. Bimini, and then. Some of the fan reactions are always gross. <laughs> oh it's always that's, every, that's every season. Every season, I just want to murder people. Uh, I'm like, yeah. I don't I know, know who name, you are. I'm not familiar with her at, in the slider. Yeah. So I'm um, one of the like, I saw a lot of like, Caitlyn Hayes, Pat Shane. <laughs> yeah. Oh my she's just like a well, like, like, famous phobia. country singer. Uh, yeah, it's just. It. Well, someone, um, this is like kind of separate, but someone said all the, Probably like, the know. top. <laughs> well, like, Case and Bimini, I feel like, in Ahura, like, they all got modeling contracts the second the show ended. What happened to Lauren? why is it more like doing high fashion stuff Uh, like she obviously like can do that it's just because of her weight like like, it's kind of weird because like like, i don't i can't remember if she made a lot of her outfits i think she did yeah, yeah. And like, well, I feel like the nice thing is because she's like oh, yeah. a southern country, um, like in New York, we don't really have a, like yeah. that sort of um, presence no here. Taste, no, but I know in the we south, love taste, like, by the way. Taste is yeah. like I, I want to meet her in so the north. Bad. There's I, not yeah. any, so I, I feel like she, could stand she seems like a mean bitch in the face, but like she's funny. True. Yeah. She seems yeah. also Makes you nice a as fuck. Yeah. She's um, so funny. Oh my god. I don't know her personally, but yeah. That means that. 
So um, how did you get Tace into the Vinny drag scene once you came up? Ellie here? can come back for All Stars. Oh yeah, I'm for it. Or I, international I did um, All Stars. Whatever. So, the yeah. hell. I don't know what they're yeah. planning on. How did that even happen? Show. They're doing something. So, I know it's nonsense. more than just like UK. We moved, in, we moved from Brooklyn. It's allegedly to maybe um and Thailand, which I still need to watch, and um uh, definitely Canada. Like I know Canada. We visit Canadian queens. We're not together. And I think a few. Our floor, US Queens. Oh, like is there? Like many. I think. Interesting. Like Don't quote me. Back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that um, would actually floors, be like very interesting. In shambles. So it's not like uh, US Queens on there. But yeah. we have um, like I think like one or two, then, but like. Like it, it kind of felt like a gay rap party. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, over all the and then time, transitioning like, into slowly and quickly at the same this time turned into season that just ended, and season thirteen. Us. All of our friends <laughs> over. We, um, did, a we did it, ride. kids. We what did a it, ride. Joe. Was, like, special oh did so, we, so did this, we survive? <laughs> um, someone's. I don't know where I read. Oh my god! <laughs> probably Instagram. So then, like, um, this season has as many episodes as season three. So these are both the longest seasons that have ever been. See season. Oh, uh, three doesn't drag though. Uh, it does like, not drag. Do... Okay, what? Well, Pun intended. <laughs> um, because I think the biggest problem with this season was like the pacing. Oh my god! So even the first two episodes, because I did a Thoughtacy interview, and I it, it had only been like one or two episodes, and I was like, I'm bored already. And that boredom did not really change at any point. The more recent seasons, I've stopped watching after a certain point. Yeah. Like, Oh, um, wow. I, I skipped At the roast. I didn't watch that. Oh, this one? Um, yeah, this the roast episode is actually yeah. very good. There's only a I heard couple it was good. episodes, and so that's one of them. I skipped the roast. I skipped the last episode. And some of the, like the first times I tried I missed things, most of like, the pocket uh, the pockets runway uh, like that, that whole episode of, <laughs> I mean um, I, the only thing I even remember is Kenji's <laughs> not this <laughs> which was made by Pinwheel <laughs> yeah. and I'll defend Pinwheel so how did you get well then Pinwheel did the <laughs> next episode's outfit and everyone was fucking <sighs> living so that, yeah um, so I'll defend yeah. Pinwheel yeah. I liked totally the first outfit own. too oh so but, Pinwheel if you listen to this come on she probably doesn't I know she doesn't come on but Someone, <laughs> someone, um, sent the clip of me asking her to come on. Okay. And then okay. <laughs> Mostly co so we can respond to her, um, <laughs> her watching oh, her stuff oh, being on TV. My God. So she, so <laughs> the pocket challenge, like, so like the judging fucking does. eviscerated candy and for that look, away, and, and pinwheel the designer uh, did a like a kind of like a live Insta story thing about it, and it is the I funniest was, thing oh, I've ever this. seen. I was dying laughing. It was so funny. She was. So upset, but it like, she was like oh, you know, she yeah. wasn't like crushed. She was just yeah. like sad, but yeah. in a funny way. It was just, oh, man. it was good. But oh. um, yeah, this season, um, oh. what a what a journey. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing is, I think a lot of the queens were great on the show. They just didn't know what to do with them. They just obviously, each was like, we need whatever, like seventeen episodes, whatever the hell it is. I think it's sixteen episodes. Um, no, you didn't. <laughs> The rumor was, I don't, I don't know how true this is, but it kind of makes sense in my head, was that they had to cancel celebrity drag race because of COVID, and so, like, drag race just, like, absorbed those episodes, and, and which gave us the... The, like the I three opening first, episodes that no one got eliminated, and then like oh. the COVID special. Um, <sighs> so it was just yeah. it was a like I right I mean it, at the end of the day it's a competition Michael show. You need some stakes. You have to be yeah. invested. And like the talent, it was there. It's not the talent's fault. It's just the actual production issue. I I mean I think they did that to. I let them kind of like kind of give the girls like a moment in the spotlight yeah. again because like I mean, but, look, luckily so, they could probably start touring again the, soon. That's a good point. So, but the, the um, thing is with yeah. UK, less is more. Yeah. Like Joe Black left and the first did you do episode, but Joe Black made enough of an impression finale, that like, oh, that's just, great. Like, oh my God, this yeah, queen's been robbed. Yeah. What happened? Really, like, yeah. there's a way to do it. I understand why everyone wants airtime. Like these queens are spending so much fucking money on the outfits. I get that. Yeah. I, and I think like doing the runway like right at, off the bat so is smart, so they can really at least have a chance to show at least like three or four. Like, oh my god, 
and the lipsticks. I forgot about the how they actually did the season one format with the lipsticks. I think we talked about it in January, but no, still not. And then RuPaul's psychological experiment workshop. Waiting. Oh yeah, it was kind of worth it for that. But man, just sitting through every single queen having to lip sync right at the beginning. Yeah, it was. It was a weird paced season. I really hope they like take some lessons from this because I feel like they do try to improve every season. I thought season twelve was fucking. <laughs> One of the better seasons in recent memory of like here? regular Drag Race. So hopefully they like, can take some things that worked from like season twelve, uh, try some yeah, new stuff, but not too many really new things for into, fourteen. Like, thinking outside of my well, zone. um, I think and Willem and Alaska like, commented on their podcast. Um, like, there's no like going back oh from doing God. the lip sync <laughs> in the beginning kind of episode. Really, I think they could totally do something. Iconic. Uh, like, it's so, it's like so high, it, but it's like so high stake. Like they, uh, I mean, the girls the knew numbers, or didn't know like that they weren't going to get the audience at home. Expensive. But like, yeah. it's so high stake at <laughs> that been, point that it just like and it really did shape. The, I don't know. The, I don't see like a normal. In, and the, like, the I feel like they'll do after this, uh, kind of, uh, like the opening episodes are always like kind of a big Never. deal. I think they'll be able to get <laughs> like Cher Never. said she wants Ever. to do Drag Race, I, oh, so they I can get Cher in the iconic. first if season, uh, first episode, season, and like do something around that. Boom, much better. Oh, that'd be cool if they did like a team. Figure it out that way. But not even teams, you know, like oh, just I like how they did it for season six when they did like a split. Yes, I thought that was but like they had just be the judges. All the episodes were totally different the first two yeah. episodes and of like, season six like one was yeah. like a modeling challenge and then one was um i, I forgot what win. else you know i went in there trying to learn they did, uh, mm-hmm. crafting so, challenge yeah is that what you're talking about well like so, so each episode they had people must have liked um, you tasks to do <laughs> like they split up the queens but they were doing like separate things yeah so it wasn't like it was like that with um and you still got to meet them all same thing and choose your favorites. Uh, um, and I think that worked ah, out. You're the Valentina. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind them bringing back that one. <laughs> I, I, I wish they would. I, I kind of miss the photography that. challenges because, like, I've been, as usual, re watching the earlier seasons. And, like, drama, but during the time, like I, when I they like tried to copy America's Next Top bottle format, I think it worked really well. Because it's yeah, already a proven format for a different voting, show. So never in the dressing rooms, and, you know, the queens, it works. Drama, it works for the queens. Apparently was yeah. a ton of drama. Um, before uh, we I take a break, I, I, we're going to keep <laughs> talking about Drag Race. Like, on your own team, but yeah, I, I just want to know what your thoughts were on the reunion special for this season. I mean, I wish more queens would, you know, stay in their lane as well. Because I feel like there's a lot of drama in New York. Oh, yeah. Just total drama. For no fucking reason. It I get why they did the music video. Like, like, I didn't completely hate, hate the music video. Yeah, videos, like, why did it get to did, this point? <laughs> like, it was two hours that we didn't yeah, really we need out of it, the, and then on television. Because I, I like the reunions because like I like when mm-hmm. beef uh, is brought up again and, like, squashed or, like, we have, like, those sentimental moments. Like, I'm thinking, like... Asia on the season ten, ten so talking wow. about when the Vixen left, like Yikes. that kind of moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do I look? Uh, do, do I look bothered to you? Kind of moment. <laughs> like season nine reunions, like peak. Oh, <laughs> season nine <laughs> reunion, nothing <laughs> will ever top that. And then they, um, like I miss the early season oh, format oh. of like reunions, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, where just fun. like. Just talking with each other and like drama. What a way to end I I love that. Like behind the scenes, you know. Yeah. You want a um, title? And like, to know what? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> this season, I like, hated this season it. was kind of voiced. Yeah. I hated oh, it with wow. such a passion. Let's Music videos are boring. The only one good one was right like La La Rie. I kind of like Tamisha Amon's because it's funny. Um, but man, just a huge waste of time. They could have yeah. easily flown those girls out oh, yeah. and just had them in a room. It's not like yeah. last year where like everything was like shut down and like there's nothing they can do about anything. Yeah. This, I mean, things have kind of lifted. They could have gotten them all like Johnson Johnson shots, react. I'm sure, without a problem. I'm sure. <laughs> that was I'm actually sure kind, was kind of a long out. break. Yeah. So my yeah. cat threw up. So. It was a huge wow. missed opportunity, yeah. especially I like that up. Huh? Where I'm going to talk a little bit about the finale, just a tiny bit. Um, because Both Lala Ree won Miss Congeniality. <laughs> I would have liked too. to see why weather? she won that. Because she didn't get much airtime on the show. Again, or... And, um, 
Cat I would just like to see Cat how the girls Cat interact with each other, especially um, after all this time. Because yeah, right that's now. like the whole point. Anyway. This is just like a drag race <laughs> social experiment, seeing how so we're like keeping our it's like a our real world phenomenon. Put all the queens the in a room, see what happens. So, far. <laughs> so you I've were watched a that, co-producer. Actually. Yeah, I mean that's, <laughs> that's kind of like what drag race is. Even Dracula, like they're all kind of like that. What was that like? I like to see a reunion to know what what happened behind the scenes. Oh, the no, the number one thing I was pissed about with the reunion. Like, that we, so were we would work from. with the bar. It's just course, Tamisha like, and Candy in the scene. Uh, because <laughs> that storyline was like, probably the only interesting, like, untucked drag, anything. Actually, I didn't really watch Untucked this season, flyer, but as far as I know, oh, the yeah. only interesting untucked to the brewery, stuff. Them to hang Man, them up. we were that so robbed of a good reality, like, television kind of bitch fight. You know what I th think we were robbed from? Yeah. There were a lot of talk of about Elliot with two T's um, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, behind the, the scenes and like some actions on Instagram movies. and yeah. stuff. And like idea. there have been yeah. clips online like, where the girls show around, open so disdain for <laughs> her. Well, um, did you watch <laughs> the girls like, watching the finale? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking yeah. about. And it's just like even like the online presence like yes, it's from a couple years ago. Yes, she was a grown adult artists, at that point but uh -uh, it I'm wasn't not, from I'm not a couple years ago though she's uh, she's um, and, like, she's like racist like, towards this, like, Simone those people would bring their very oh, recently yeah, yeah. <laughs> fair enough yes um yeah, and like, um so like, like in the, in the I would like that, that I would like <laughs> someone to have that conversation <laughs> on TV but so I love doing it and um we didn't I, I feel like yeah, with production, the they're like, oh, she's racist. We don't oh, want to deal that with that because that makes us look bad. We already had fucking Sherry Pie last mm -hmm. year. We, we don't want to address any like of that. So, Because it makes three. production look bad. Like, mm -hmm. like oh, we chose this queen you know, to represent our show. I wonder how down show. under is going to be then. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> we can talk a little bit about that after the break the too. I didn't even put it in our. Then own. had to pay a door fee and our notes. <laughs> minimum at the it's bar. I think it's um, time. So oh like, damn! It is a time for a break. break. <laughs> time for business lady. We're gonna yeah. talk about. Yeah. We're gonna go <laughs> just all in depth. Day. I finally watched the finale all yesterday. I'm a little behind. No, these so it's very fresh on my mind. And um, we'll be right back, kids. Bye. Greenpoint? Greenpoint, yeah. Yeah. Red Hook, we were in Red Hook, but Greenpoint. Yeah. yeah. Long Island City. Oh, we wait, were in I feel that already. City Field. We did a movie okay. there. What? Yeah. Wait, that's so crazy. That was our best show. Wait, um, and then, like, the straight people from that way. show. So they I always wanted to learn how to sell. Oh, I really should have just, like, gotten like, a career in, like, fashion. I think I would have done a lot better. They booked us for birthday I mean, parties on Zoom. I, they, like, all my like career paths like, oh, over God. the years. Took on this, like, queer I went, okay. Like, I originally yeah. and, like, really, like, keep us wanted employed. to do musical they theater. Merch, doing, like, As every gay does. Yeah, so, Which like, is like, funny because like, I don't really like musical that theater that much. I, <laughs> I feel like you, it was like, I oh, like this that it's like beyond the LGBT Yeah, like I love. like we'll keep. Things like, I wanted to be an actor. I think I was, like, really craving oh, fame. Sure. If you could, like, and then yeah, I was like, oh, I'll be an actor. And then yeah. I was like, oh, I like singing. Let me <laughs> yeah. do singing. So then and I was like, mm, I don't really have the cho um, chops March for that. Let me just had, focus on music. And then I was like, oh, let me focus on, like, choir like, music. Um, and then I was like, mm, maybe I'll do, like, a music therapy. And then I was like, no, I'll do English literature. I'll, like, write and be a critic. And then I got here, and I'm like, oh, museums. I love museums. Um, and now so I'm like, you, get get you know what? Like Museums are great, but like, there's no jobs. Yeah. In that. And then go nope. Um, and then you're and, and, you know, and now I'm like, oh, oh my god, god I could be an artist. Right <laughs> and yeah. like, no. and like we so now I have a nine to five. And that's so my we life story. <laughs> I, I hope you include that. <laughs> I am. Welcome back, kids. <laughs> um, so we're back. We're yeah, going to we talk. Are. We're going to talk about early. the finale oh, yeah. since it literally just so we happens like, on everyone's like, minds. I finally caught June. up with it. And then I have a lot of. I literally. So we do an outline for this every episode. I literally was just writing the all my thoughts as did I was not, like, stop Yeah, um, I'm looking <laughs> at it right now. I'm like, like y'all are productive. You were in. You were in. You were inside. Literally, when I write all my thoughts, I literally just say them word for word on the podcast. So it just makes my life a little easier. Yeah. We started doing um, our first week. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's just start. Mm -hmm. So, so the opening Instagram has RuPaul. Live. 
Uh, she's performing. A lot of people gave her a lot of cri like criticism about her performance. Kind of you could talk about it first. I have mm -hmm. my own opinion. Oh, see, I saw a lot of people praising her. Oh, really? They're like, like, so they're like oh, she's dancing and she's doing choreography. I'm like, where, girl? But it gave me very, Ruby is red hot. Like, AJ and the Queen vibes, which I wasn't mad about because I fucking love that show to death. So... Um, I mean, it's it is a rare treat to see Rue. I was shook. How did you get sponsorships in with that? On her own show? Yeah, oh, I was. Do this unless you give her ten thousand dollars. Yeah, like, I was kind of. I was surprised. It was a welcome surprise. But, um, was it great? Not really, but like uh, I liked Rue, it. <laughs> like it honestly, because I, you know, I. It's RuPaul. I've seen so much footage of her. It really reminded me of early '90s Rue. Like Rue was never a huge dancer. She's just more of a presence and like. Like, like she I got said, the like, legs out. The she got the, her little reveal. Like she Bethy looked great. She reminded yeah, me of nineties Rue, like, like early nineties Rue when she first like made it big. Yeah. Like I was shook. Like, I was not expecting. Spots after <laughs> um. Yeah. Like I said, it was very yeah, AJ and the Queen. Like, and that's no, why I loved it. But it wasn't. It wasn't anything for me. I loved it. I was like very very surprised. Um. So the after Rue, they um start with the opening. So they give the girls three looks. About doing this show, do you mm -hmm. want to ace? And it's kind of, it's basically yeah. just a regular like runway drag race because they have that that it was like a ball basically. Yeah, yeah. It like was there's a ball. three categories. Yeah, and um, but they have this is how you know it's not live. They have them recording their commentary about the outfit for your which was it kind of like takes you out of it, but then it was like, oh my god, this is actually really interesting because usually with the finales, you have no idea what the girls are wearing, what they're wearing, and so it was like it was it was a weird meta choice, but it kind of for me. <laughs> um, I, I didn't understand why they did a ball. Like, I was happy to see the look. They like, just needed I thought, content. Yeah, that, yeah. right, yeah. Because, um, like, it, it was some of these looks were some of the best that oh, I've my God. Ever. Uh, on Drag yeah. Race ever. Yeah. 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 Um, and I'm thinking of Mick America. specifically. Yeah, they, they and Simone. For me, I. I, everyone loved Got Mick's like, looks. Like, They're okay, great. But I feel like Got Mick has so many connections in the like, fashion yeah, yeah. industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. This whole season. And what did they do exactly? That, it, that doesn't really impress me. I don't know. Like, uh, if you can call, really like, the top really designer cool. and be like, hey, I need a look. People, yeah, it, it is how you wear it. But it's just like, so. I don't know. Like, there's no. Yeah. And what a time for that right now. You know what? You just got look. You know what I'm thinking about this? And maybe I can talk to this more when we get to the final lip syncs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. smoke weed and this in jail finale and is like season nine and weed to the extent of like the queens kind of yeah. fit each where top are, four are oh yeah oh yeah the um, it, that's not a, that's, that's not an accent <laughs> coming soon <laughs> um, literally and this just passed Mick like a week ago it's sort of like <laughs> if, <Sasha laughs> did it. If, I, if i've been hearing yeah, stories of people finding to watch at like um, um i think in performance counter, yeah, they're totally so, like, different but i think yeah that's gonna happen sooner than later concept and look with that organization sounds great so so did you have a favorite look from the runway of the three Mm. of just mix so or all, just like, all of them out of anyone uh, out of anyone I, know, out of I think I'll, I'll pick a favorite look from How'd each of the queens because yeah, I think it. that's fun um, well, for I Mick Mick was the hard one because I Same. you know I'm a, like, yeah, you know I'm a like, Keith Herring bitch right. so oh, I really oh, like the that Keith Herring look oh. that was fun but mm -hmm. I think the the heart piece the final fantasy fantasy that was obviously my favorite everyone said that's the best look they've seen and blah 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 I will I will will defend to and the like, death so, Violet Chachki's finale. No, I agree. Violet's cra uh, step down look. One. Yeah, no I agree. That's that's my favorite outfit mm -hmm. ever. Um, but this is, is definitely close. Nick is definitely up there. Definitely top <laughs> ten. Oh yeah, top uh, 10. potential. 100%. Um, so that's my favorite for Mick. Um, who is next? Candy. Uh, Candy's. What was my favorite Candy? I don't know. Oh, I loved her. I loved her red look. Okay, let's take a small break. Because I know. Um, it was very. It felt very Brooklyn, and so I. And um, I think some Brooklyn people made it too. Um, I think. Misty Mocha maybe made it. Really? I think so. Someone uh, in that family definitely to helped. See what gave everyone the space. Um, the, uh, oh, the, she had the peacock you know, look. 
Oh, yeah. oh, I like the, my all favorite the one of hers so is the we black and white look. Our, oh, that was also gorgeous. And I think we it like, had to do with Black Lives Matter. Like, okay, that's what someone was saying. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's true, but that's that's something. I love the hair on that one. Oh my god, I love the hair. Yeah, so elevated. So the thing with Candy, um, I saw her like right when she came back from Drag Race. Like she did like a show in Brooklyn, and man, like the second she got on that show, bam, her looks like were amazing. Mm-hmm. But you didn't but get to see any of that on the actual show, mm-hmm. really, mm-hmm. with her. Me, so, like, I wasn't super... Three, I'm sure everyone was like, whoa, but, um, why is this huge glow up so that earlier? Like, but <laughs> literally the second she came back from Jericho, so she had that glow up. Right we, we like, uh, Rosé. I didn't like a lot of Rosé. <laughs> I like the... Um, I, 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 I love history, so any... Like, Mary Queen of Scots, I'm all about that life. Um, I I like the red look a lot. That was, um, Casey later. Doing the red look or the... Yeah, uh, the oh, red. Okay. Uh, we reached out to um, a network of people. I, it, uh, it, it right was, up, right up my alley with, like, spooky witchy vibes so and it was my favorite color so i was very about it we were, uh, um working at the and then some out someone's hard to pick uh, well for so me it's just the um uh, we were always the, huge, the, like, the first the we black and white the huge together. outfit yeah, like, i was like that's the like, winner yeah. But Coming in yeah. like that, I'm like, dance, she won. Actually, she, uh, she was like a wall of fabric and hair. Yeah, and, and just like, just amazing. <laughs> I love, um, what is that design that you that, like, put on a head wrap that um, so we pirates wear? And we started raising bandana? money. Yeah, like the bandanas, uh, okay. uh-huh. but like they're black so bandanas, like in the dress. Tutors, I'm like, oh, no, this looks they, so good. Um, I think people were comparing it to Marie Antoinette. Really? Because I guess maybe the the just because how big it was uh, the sides were like mm-hmm. rococo kind of styles like on the so sides yeah. why don't we start this um side of, like, but i felt more like antebell himself kind of which oh yeah it's definitely like a commentary I can, on that I so, no i mean um, it's definitely um for a you know, session of all her looks are always uh, very so, well, sorry, about the, like black history we started asking yeah like, okay, and so black culture and, and yeah. like um and it was it was stunning it was really gorgeous uh, she didn't have a bad look tonight no. um yeah so her got they, 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 they knocked out they yeah talk. Um, they understood the assignment. Of tutoring with so scholars. those so are my favorites of the of the top four. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. so our and then we d- our lip syncs. We got we're gonna LA. go through each. So yeah, we're going to go through each lip sync one by one. We <laughs> had New York versus L A. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and guess who wow. looked a little bit better. Uh, while still just at the same it. time uh, raising we'll money for the poker project, <laughs> raise money for um, Diane Morales's uh, campaign for mayor in New York City. Yeah, She's let's go with the with first Rock one. Yeah. Uh, so, Br- Rose- I thought Britney Spears was a weird lip sync choice. Like for well, so they've done good Britney lip syncs. It's also mm-hmm. like the free Point, Britney like, thing. They're like, oh, we, we but can't no one said it. If you're gonna do that, like, well, say it. Well, it was implied. It was implied. I guess. Um, yeah. So Rose versus Candy. So they. Very pointedly, when um, Rue is so interviewing Rose, talk really about like the fact that she's inspired by like people. queens who use their platform a couple months ago, but obviously mm-hmm. still injured. Yeah. I think there needs to be more. So, with that <laughs> in mind, too, just watching it, like see they seem for me, they seem so often where girls almost are really totally equal. About a cause and then like New York City queens are going to give you a show, but knowing that Rose had a broken ankle, I think she couldn't figure out how to perform with that. So we As do I. I think that was like <laughs> a huge impairment for so her. So that's always going to be a Like they always, whenever they do lip syncs, like, you know they're yeah, going to show so who's important. like the winner and who's the loser. They like all. very focusedly <laughs> choose like one moment where they kind of. Fuck you up. also launched a publication. So like you can see you're trying to like do like one of the moves. Oh no, I didn't really launch. Oh okay. Then what did you? But if you had not had a broken ankle, I bet because you don't have to do all the hard work. I was under the impression it wasn't broken. It was sprained. Oh, sprained. Whatever it is. I was under the impression. That that happened several months ago, workers. and that she was fully okay. healed, and they like just brought the it up for whatever. No, I don't think so. I think it was um, still sprained. I I thought her reveal was very bad. <laughs> oh, I did not like her reveal at all. I don't like either. Uh, this whole episode, except for maybe and one or two reveals, were just oh, terrible reveals. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Um, the we'll get to the be- the best reveal of the night, but um. 
I thought Candy's was so much more successful because it was like, like she was wearing like a like a white lot, kind so of outfit or like a nude outfit. Candy's reveals exactly. were at least like oh, I mean we yeah. knew she had a reveal, but like it wasn't so fucking obvious. Yeah, um, Rose turned one outfit into an uglier outfit. Yeah, I did not like her. I didn't like her wig either. I know she was trying to do a Britney homage, but it didn't work for her face shape. And she started documenting. Yeah, that was one problem with Rose. I had this whole night was like every time i saw her she looked like a different person like makeup wise and like not in a good way well like, the problem she, with this you always want to have a brand at least on yeah. drag race dragula is different but on drag race you always want to have your brand you want to look fairly consistent in absolutely everything. and i was getting different faces each look she was doing yeah and um yeah i just i, I didn't know what rosé was about really at the end of like the whole season i was like that's amazing. Yeah, so, I don't yeah, know. She had I have a bias because I don't. I'm not so the biggest fan of hers. So, um, well, so but, I've seen her be very you know like do very uh, successful performances in New York, Instagram like like stuff, hitting the mark. Uh, and I feel like on the show uh, friends, with the fashion, uh, Poppins, with like queen, her personality, she just couldn't commit. I'm I'm with you. She couldn't commit to like one thing that keeps her consistent. She keeps her like. Huge you wanting like she has a lot of fans she's a white queen like she's always gonna have fans but like yeah. um doing a makeup there was just she couldn't really like differentiate herself from the crowd i feel like small batch of, like, i feel like a lot of her fans were also anti-candy mm -hmm. everyone's it's fucking anti-candy so it's so annoying. so when candy <laughs> won that oh my god so happy <laughs> I, cause I, I was going through like twitter because i have to help make memes for work.com please follow mm -hmm. us on instagram okay. for work.com so it's w-e-r-r-k-d-o-t-c-o-m we really need more followers um but uh everyone's like just shitting on candy all on the timeline throughout the finale like or like knows candy at least in new york like no one's surprised i wasn't really yeah, I wasn't. I like that you're like making. I I think I was more surprised that, that like, um mix didn't uh, get into the just, like, light up all these synapses. So we can go in into that. Brain, like, we'll go into the that next sounds episode. really cool and really so, amazing. So congrats obviously to after um and Rose and Candy, it's um, got Nick versus so Simone. Good, you know? if, yeah. uh, I was not impressed um, by this lip sync. YouTube channel. <laughs> it's very. I believe um, I remember I I telling us about well some I thought Simone did great, but I wasn't impressed by either of them. Are you also involved in that? process I with am, got mick for I me jealous. got mick is not a performer is which is fine you don't have to be a performer they're so absolutely mm -hmm. incredible because at makeup totally, like, out of our and, and like, designing like uh, coming up with like, concepts like, for costumes really like that is their like also they're they got mick is 100 percent the comedy queen of this season sorry to say like to, got mick was the comedy queen but if we're doing yeah. Time, like but if you're gonna it's, it's, um breaking the character base who wins based on performance like it was never gonna be dot mick it's just not mm. gonna happen like feminine, it's that's fine you know, like they don't have to be a performance queen but based like, on uh, i guess they were you kind of staying voice. true to like, <laughs> like a whole keeping it like mm -hmm. season nine right? where it, performance actually does matter in the finale which i really respect because i had lost a lot of respect especially after season 10 there was a lot of shenanigans with how be, they did that like, and be mm -hmm. watched, but um you know, cause just I'm watching got big performance just i was like there's no way in a shirt with like yeah um i thought simone's <laughs> people aren't gonna care reveals were gonna more watch, successful like, than got mix and um nice and beautiful I, jewelry and then boom, yeah boom, mix just not a good performer and that's okay how often that's do you guys, like they're so talented at uh, so many other so things like also that's, a lot. The US, <laughs> yeah, that's so much it's more heavy on lip sync <laughs> ability um, but we have a team of and that's people, not like said, that's just one can, aspect uh, yeah, of some people's Michael, performance a lot of queens sing live like a lot of people don't even do lip syncs who are drag queens or drag performers so i would i was just surprised mick didn't get into the top two um i mean there could have been some shenanigans like but the yeah i i i was surprised because um this whole season it felt more like mick was getting kind of bumped up to be the winner like because like the last episode rue was like obsessed with her um and basically everything she did on the runway was like breathtaking and never was in the bottom not that doesn't mean anything it's the first trans yeah and so i thought they were i thought they were gonna get like they wanted that pr yeah um so i thought the writing was on the wall for me like i'm going into the finale same 
brought Same. that up. I'm glad I was definitely, like, uh, wrong, I guess, because I... Um, I'm glad it was a surprise. It. it wasn't that surprising because <laughs> Simone was we, just yeah, as consistent I mean, yeah. as Mick. So a, a but, um, um, but having Candy one. in the top two uh, okay. was a gag That was a big gag. Yeah. But she um, fucking earned her spot. Yeah. And people um, always, like, PTO, especially online, like, they just trash Candy, like, so hard. More because of what she looks like and how she sounds like than, like, her actual abilities. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of racism it's when just it comes so to much racism, candy. fat phobia, like everything. Yeah. Like up after um, so getting, and then um, or should we get to the final? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, do it. let's do it. I thought <laughs> this was terrible. <laughs> what do you mean? What part? I thought the final lip sync was boring. Uh, I thought yeah. it was bad. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was just. It was what it was. It wasn't a good final lip sync song. I agree. Um, I thought Candy was giving more. No, no offense to Simone. Simone yeah. was just like doing reveals, and that's fine. But like, some I like literally was watching Simone, and like they were just like walking across the stage back and forth, and like. But that's honestly that's LA. Drag, so I I don't know. Um, <laughs> We got oh, a gaggy game. thing that happened yeah. um, the first at my viewing McDonald's party in oh, specific um, was that thing, they, thing, they thing, literally thing, like started the lip sync <laughs> and then like for whatever uh, reason VH1 yeah, just, just cut we, to commercial. We Which, like, we, so Amazon you told me this like, and I like yeah. watched it on Amazon never, and they did like there was no like anything like that. We were so confused. We're like, did or did they like play that early or like what's going on? And then like when the commercials were finally over, like the lip sync was over and then what? Yeah, so we like we missed like. Ninety percent of but I I, I, I watched it afterwards. I'm not yeah, yeah, just basing well. it on my we, opinion off of this. I didn't realize that's what? what happened. And apparently, oh, it happened oh, a few oh, other people too. We were just like watching. <laughs> I think we were watching like live <laughs> TV. So it was just, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it was. I always weird. watch on the app. Yeah. Um. And uh, uh, so I yeah. This last last lip sync, I was kind of like, this could go to either of them, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go to Simone. I mean, they were gonna give it to Candy. The backlash. Even just having Candy top two and seeing how many people are like. Producer has acting like the world is fucking ended. Calm and down, everyone. <laughs> I, I, because I didn't think Candy was gonna win because she's good TV and they want her to bring her back for All Stars. Yeah, that makes sense, and actually. That's kind of how I felt about I mean, Simone too. Sure it's just like it's nothing it. against for like me, Simone's character or anything well, I was or like her talent. <laughs> Since day one, same. Like I was uh, yeah. like team team's. Team Simone since day one, she won core challenges. Production there. She had a message I, since starting this job. She's going like, with I the melanin dynasty. Stuff, and then as like, soon as I get home, I'm it, like, it was definitely between no Simone and Gottman. Once Gottman was gone, <laughs> I passed out yesterday. Well, I passed be, out. You know? Yeah, I I was just woke up um, it's just like not the finale expected, which I think is a good thing. I I like being surprised. I was surprised. That's for me to figure out. But I I love this like ninety five percent of the time. You guys but overall, it was pretty it. good Especially finale. Like, I was I very like enthralled. The finale yeah. was like my Three favorite episode of the entire yeah. season. I was pretty, I was pretty Twice entertained. Twice of Twice of Twice. Um, so I'm glad the season's <laughs> over. And um, I also <laughs> really enjoyed yeah. to see Jada finally so, like, get to fucking walk a like Drag Race runway. Oh, we didn't get to talk her. Oh my god, she looks so gorgeous. She looked amazing. Like I'm just like she she needed her fucking moment. Like season twelve got fucked over so bad. She needed her moment and she finally got it. I'm very Happy. Whatever we're doing. She, yeah, always, that was her, her little like, spotlight at, in the, we didn't even talk about it, but okay, the weird no drive in. Oh my god, that was so bad. There's nothing to talk about. Yeah, yeah I was like, what was that? that? But her, she yeah. looked stunning there. And then when she stepped down, look, she looked absolutely like, gorgeous. So yeah, was, for me, I'm, like, I love like Simone too, but Jada, man, Jada could have like been the reigning the queen for content? another like 10 uh, 15 years yeah. and i would have complained and i feel like yeah uh, so um i i was a good finale yeah good I, finale good a terrible season, season. Live, yes, a great finale so <laughs> yeah great finale <laughs> um, um and then we don't have to talk about drag race until june so i'm fine well okay so just the stuff that's coming up on drag race australia i deleted my wow subscription i have to re-get it again i'm cut i'm very excited i've been looking forward to this for years because i love Australian drag, so it's nice to see like spotlight like, on like that. I said, you know, like, we'll uh, see how it is. I hope it's like UK. The bars of, or the brewery. I mean, Rue's there. there. That's a big like thing because I don't. Mm -hmm. Rue was definitely not planning to do that until the pandemic yeah. hit. More yeah. Often so that, I'm I, Team Art Simone, of course. For like oh, obvious. I've met of three of the queens on this show. And like the bar would be empty because um, Karen from Finance. Oh, Maxi Shield. I know who her. And that's about it. Someone uh, said etc. Oh, that's, that's Freya's friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Something>. uh, 
um, where we're going with this. They're I on the show, the correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah, it seems like a cast. Um, I mean, Australian drag, I really hope they bring the Australian flavor of the, the drag scene. Because so uh, around the world, we'll the only live, scenes that are, like, really big on, is, like, UK and then Australia. As I mean, so yeah, there's other countries that do it. Like, Japan actually has a very, obviously, different but big drag scene that's more, like, culturally ingrained. But when it comes to, like, from around the world, like, the most prominent it seems it's going to be UK, Australia, Australia, and the US. So I really hope they bring it. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, looking forward to it. Even there's though also I'm, like, drag race. Shot. Yep. There's also we'll drag race. Drag. <laughs> Which uh, I don't know when that's going to air. They haven't announced it. Yeah, that, I'm assuming that's going to be on Wall Presents. Okay. Plus, yeah. um, I, there's I might, I I'm a little tired of drag race, so I might skip out on both. But I might come back for All Stars. Oh, is which, it in June? Did they announce that? I believe I so, yeah. Okay. Um, on Paramount Plus, which is a weird move. We just but, yeah, um, I know. It, it, that was announced um, like But I think we're going to continue ago. somewhere yeah, we're somehow we're gonna... <laughs> into I think I can this get segment. it through my cable um, card. Because we talked to mm-hmm. Ducky about I, it's, it. But, it's not that expensive. Your YouTube content I remember correctly. a lot on um, Japanese culture. But... So uh, thing I'm, to I'm tell us some of your favorite. I'm a little stuff. brown drag race right now. Like I just did too. No one here. Well, you're talking about it with Ducky, so it's yeah, not see. like yeah. it's not like this is the US where it's like in your face. It's like please oh, you can watch Ducky episode for any music yeah. or anime um, needs. But I think we should take another little break. And then we'll talk about us because we're more. Yeah, you know we are important. And that's kind of we'll be right back, kids. Bye. Or like I don't know if you've ever watched like an hour of Japanese Wig, okay. television, but it is the craziest I know. time you'll Wig, ever I feel that already. Uh, Wig, okay. it's so fun, and that's Wig, where we're say like, drawing our YouTube Wig, okay. I think a lot of Western or understanding is like game shows, game shows but then I know Terrace House is really popular oh over here too. Hi, Caitlin. Hello. Um, <laughs> I think they canceled that. We've recently, done it two years. We, remember that we did it. Um, did it. I'm proud of did us. I didn't. I mean, I, ex- I actually expected us to keep going. Challenge. I didn't, like no? this isn't. <laughs> much of a show. It was, we would have had like this probably would have been like our. Like 50 60 second yeah, like or 50 the, second episode thing, but like, I discovered we missed a lot of weeks last it. year and then I, don't, I um, wonder why like, mm-hmm. what could have possibly yeah I wonder why like, TV channel, like, yep. Yep. Um, yep my dad you know, loved that but, shit so like I've and we missed a few weeks here and there like I'll add an extra week but we've been pretty consistent yeah we're pretty on top of it we're good we have changed um, times like now. I know Spike no one, run this show. people no one usually listen when they listen. Us anyway, um, but yeah, we're, we're now, now on Mondays. On, we're now on Mondays. Every other Monday. Every second. Um, oh, <laughs> every series. Not, yeah, it's show. every other We're bi weekly. Like, we bi- put the B in LGBT. Maybe like 100 people can bi weekly. One episode where we, where I thought bi weekly like meant twice a week. Obstacle Does it? Courses like, you've ever seen. What's the thing with the check? We're bi monthly. Bi monthly. Mod rolls or like getting oh, hit by these God. boulders. Like, these impossible challenges. I'll have you know, y'all, that it's <laughs> five it's really in the afternoon. Like the so <laughs> there's no reason I'm Caitlin should of, be tired. Like, I'm just saying, I'm kind of on no uh, sleep this weekend. English, it's not Yesterday like was like the first time I had sleep. Like, from yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Caitlin's English been doing some like, secret projects. Yeah, that she she won't even tell me. I so I don't know. I think I vaguely remember this. Because I was a frequent watcher of Flake TV. I'm assuming that she's doing some girls audition tape. Yeah, that's just me. Yeah, that's just me. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, we just we wanted to do a refresher for um, yep, oh the people that are still listening. Oh yeah, listen yeah. Well. yeah. So with <laughs> Work.com, who's our partner, our like, mama, really, like, po- not podcast, our Gabby, mama network, I guess. Life, um, that was like th- those episodes on, on the like, YouTube channel and, and like on the actual like website only start around like 21, 22. So so like a year in, basically. Yeah, a year in. So like our early episodes, we really like talked about who we are. Up which is very boring we know but <laughs> i like talking about myself i like talking about scary. myself too <laughs> like <laughs> if you're listening to us i mean maybe uh, you care i don't know plane tickets to um go, so we uh, wanted to, to Japan, like just reflect just on of, who we are where we come but we are also in the past two years i'm gonna stay yeah. with one of, um, oh, sorry. what a journey it's been. Sorry, yeah. um, 
Because, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, we started in 2019. <clears throat> what was 2019? Uh, we, I don't we know. Like, <laughs> I know. That <laughs> t- feels like a decade away. The thing away. is, once Japanese the pandemic Tokyo, hit, so like, everything has weeks, no meaning uh, to me anymore. Like, all I feel like I've been living in New York for 10 years at this point. I haven't. It hasn't been that long. I know. Everything's just a blur to me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I am, I am martyr as weird that sounds. I, I haven't put myself in face in almost six months. Um, I don't even wear makeup at all. the mask. I mean, I don't blame you. Um, I am currently working on a series though. Oh, I should introduce that. Um, so yeah, um, my series. Um, so I started not having as many gigs, but I wanted to keep doing drag and so. I didn't like going out as much. I um, <laughs> yeah, miss it, that's obviously. Uh, yeah. But um, I wanted to still <laughs> produce drag without. So I know y'all are having launching to go out a merch line. four in the morning. What is it? Um, so I started so doing series. Um, I think in 2018. And our masks. Yeah, uh, 2019. Oh yeah, I saw the mask. Um, There's yeah, yeah. like a photography where I, just, I saw uh, as like an extension of my drag, because, um, like it's still my same characters like and still like aspects of it, every, but it's like a different batch. medium. So and we didn't that. want to go because drag is so like ephemeral um, and like shit um, that you can't you know, like kind of recreate the same performances. You might sell twenty shirts twice. So I wanted to focus on photography and like extend, have like a snapshot of the ephemeral. This is sounding art, uh, um, art school bullshit. I can call some people like um, that. <laughs> and I yeah, it's so a lot. It's a lot of people. thematic photography really series of quality. different characters like, and like different really themes and so whatever the fuck I'm feeling be, right now. I'm working uh, on uh, like a body image one or and, or and like decay and death. <laughs> Um, and like, I, was talking I, to this I guess I can announce the name of it. I've been debating like two names of it. Um, okay. This person's name is Johnny. Maybe Caitlin so, can help me decide. Um, I was like, so, we should do a voter poll on her. We've been friends for years. So, her friend. One idea she was practically on fire, which is a saying I used to say I was like, because you know how you're like, someone's like flaming <laughs> their, uh, like, yeah. they're flaming homosexual or flaming yeah. faggot, yeah. whatever. So I never liked calling myself flaming, but I did like that, you, like, euphemism. So I always tell my friends, I'm so gay, I'm practically on fire. Um, and so I was like, oh, that's kind of a fun title. Um, I think, like, back in the day, I wanted it to be my memoir. Uh, so what is it called, Fire On? Yeah. No. Oh, practically on fire practically on fire okay yeah mm-hmm. so that's one um, name okay and yeah, i think it could be a little cl- more clever we just okay the sale and, and the other one which is a archiving term uh, which i'm obsessed with this phenomenon is called really um cool iteration decay and um and that's iteration yeah Decay. Yeah. Head, like, okay. Um, what if you did like flaming like, decay? Girls, like, flaming decay. And that's what that sounds like. That's <laughs> poop. That's on fire. <laughs> are you, <laughs> are you gonna do more? Of, um, um, I like things sure. that like have like yeah, like it was a lot like of work, punny meanings yeah. or like double of, mm. like, I'm a bitch that was like will at, list at everything all at once to annoy you. I, like, one of my series was the 14 boys that so, like, yeah, um, broke my heart. Like, like, but that's like good because that's interesting. Like, okay. like that title like, makes you so draw, like, draw yeah, you in because like, everyone like, loves like just drama keeping like small, that, steady you know? streams um, is like our biggest goal. So yeah, yeah those are my two titles. So, um, like, Caitlin hates both of them apparently, but I feel like I think you could like expand like either of those, but make it more. Oh my god, I know. That's the moment. As someone um, and you are launching like a, a podcast. When is yeah. it? Yeah. So, <laughs> What's okay. the Ducky and for? I like, are co-hosting a podcast. More commercial, but not actually. Friend, uh, um, she, so iteration uh, decay is a thing in archiving when we're switching really formats. S- really so like from VHS to CD to digital. Uh, and, and when you do that, you lose everything we do. Uh, material basically. Um, and so my whole concept is. I I have a technique that I will not be sharing (laughs) on the podcast, but Caitlin knows about it. Um, (laughs) I'll tell you off. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, (laughs) um, (laughs) where I can decay photographs um, pretty easily and Uh, um, in a very gay way, too. (laughs) Is it that? Yes. And 
and so I was going to take an original photograph like and then use this technique to uh, alter it, decay it in a way, and then uh, have our first it episode, which basically... Um, oh, it is gay. Episode. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, and it, um, it'll be in a GIF format where the original slowly morphs into... Oh decay. my god, I just watched... So that's why I was uh, thinking it iteration decay. What's that show? Um, but maybe I'll just uh, use that. I don't what know. is it? I don't think that It's on Hoarders. It was one of the TLC um, shows. Yeah, my so Strange Addiction. Yeah. My Strange oh Addiction. Oh my god, I love that. I just <laughs> watched that episode where they had an yeah. adult baby get back on. Into, like, <laughs> so we <laughs> interview someone from that community. I mean, like, like performing in our first episode. I miss performing. I wish people would book me. Girl, you gotta ask for gigs. That's your own problem. That is my problem. It feels good to be Go up to whoever, show up in drag and whatever. Be like, can I do a number? It's like a mix between like bringing yeah, it's pretty true. like open, like yeah. but mm -hmm. also discussing. It's not like, like Manhattan where like girls will think they're taking the episode tips. Episode two, we're gonna be talking oh about gosh. true crimes <laughs> in our hometown. No. So, you know, um, like, it's like true crime, but like, we're obsessed with that. Yeah, yeah I miss here performing. I, I just don't do it <laughs> well, anymore. Well, you have to tune in. Um, we're launching. Would you want to go back I into it? Well, I guess yes. Yeah. Um, I I had this conversation with a group chat. Um, that was great couple a days ago yeah, like really a week ago. I, think I, don't know. I feel like, yeah. like um and i'm just like i love mm -hmm. the community i love I brooklyn drag i like i, I like, I like the um Manhattan concept of yeah. the podcast because there's so many uh, <laughs> don't we all <laughs> <laughs> um but I, I feel like i've never been like fully embraced by either and um i love that yeah i want to change that some weird um weird people people know who i love it too i would love if we just had our own show <laughs> like an That's actual teaser show. The Wigging Sweet. Out live show. Yeah, like I okay. obviously don't perform. So, I'd just be a host or whatever. But you talked about. Um, I mean, I'm down for that. Head for this year too, because I think you said you're. I'm not a business lady though, really um, which I should yeah. work on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> guys I'm like, can, can we get year? like Freya to like do um, it all? And then I feel like at that point everybody's be gonna the be star. Vaccinated. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be big in New York. People are already planning on coming. Yeah, yeah. Join so us, we're very uh, yeah. Um, but one of the biggest that's my little back down, background. Um, Caitlin, so who are you? Who the fuck are you? Uh, who am I talking to? I don't know. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I was at um a place. I'm I. Because I, I can't, can't even really talk about it. But um, I was at a place and um, I was staying with some drag queens. And, and then there was a my, an old friend of mine who was like, "Oh my god!" I I was like seeing all the seeing all the like they were Thursday they're all drag queens. Everyone in that like, conversation was drag queens. They're like, "Oh my god!" I just saw all these Brooklyn queens. It was just so nice to see them, and I totally didn't even recognize you or see you there. And I'm like, "This is the story of my." But that's what I like. I like being background. I don't. I'm not a performer. This, like, mm. I get really in face cool sometimes, but it's not like drag it. face. Us, like, the mm -hmm. um, so cool. But I, um, I just like documenting everything. I like getting the videos and putting it on Instagram. Like I used to do a their, lot of like full on videos, so but now I just do stories. I realized I used to take a lot of photos of drag, of which like I don't really do anymore, like other queens. I just like documenting this experience and like interviewing people. And because I really love drag, I love just being an audience member and watching it, even if it sucks. Especially after the like during the pandemic, you don't realize how much you miss things. Until uh, get, it's yeah. taken to away from you. Streets, and New York will always the facility, be the greatest mm -hmm. drag like in the world. Like, these are real entertainers. It's not Ooh, some for bullshit you. for then, fun like, in the middle the of fucking nowhere. Market, it's like, no, this is actually time, serious. So and then it's an actual like, business. Yeah. To area so I like to just, like, March, be a part of it in the background. Help March, out everyone. I'm everyone's assistant. Okay. hasn't been clear by the It's funny. It's been a handful of times. It's funny when I go to, like, shows where, like, Everyone in the show as is a, a half Jewish mine, person. So I'm just mm. up as to <laughs> your stage mom. Your yeah. stage mom. Someone's so yeah. like, yeah. I think it was uh, when we were uh, hanging out at yeah, first. So they're like, working on that. you're like it's the all, manager. All I'm like, if only I got 10%. Right now, <laughs> the talent, they'd give it yeah. Yeah. That. And, I, and that's kind of how we bonded for this for podcast yeah. it's just like because like well, i come from uh, an archiving and background like, and i love drag and i love i like i'm obsessed with like new york history and like cultural history like bullshit like paris is burning and movies like that so like hearing these stories that we get on the show i think it's really important to like document and i know most of them are friends yeah. Have we had any Maybe complete strangers? Um, some yeah. of them were close to there. I so didn't excited. know. Something. I know. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 but um, 
definitely will be there. Like, that's so, so like, cool. Yeah. So Especially if it's like down the street yeah. from me. It's not like not too a far random from, ass person. Uh, long yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, I mean, um, I mean now we're international time. too, which is wild. Yeah, yeah, which we may be getting another be. international guest. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know who too. You might know. No, I think have an Uber in. That's probably It's been a got Uber money. Uber money. Never even heard of this before. And, um, even, in June, even in June, even in June, I'm probably. I, I, well, I'm as we know, I'm um, the one who books everyone. And then everyone, I so think I one more plug before we get but into some like juicy I, stuff. With yeah. the Zoom, uh, it really you mentioned in one of our breaks, but we should bring it to our, um, I've our listeners' attention. You'll be on Drag Rocks people. this upcoming Wednesday. And so, like Wednesday. anyone uh, I know yeah. who like I've kept you in and touch Ducky. with over the years, um, so like yeah. they, they can be from any background, from any corner of the earth, and like do the power of the internet. They're here yeah. to Ooh, tell their story. That sounds fun. Fucking cool. um, so yeah. also Even if people do, I feel like those mm-hmm. episodes aren't usually mm-hmm. listened to as much, but uh, really they are, but not in New York. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Usually well, they're the international so fans will listen. Yeah, to I like really that. Though. Yeah, I mean, same. Yeah. I, for me, I a lot of people with drag, like, they only care about drag race, and that's it. And that's like the beginning and end. They're just a fan of a TV show. But I feel like with our podcast, we want to make drag accessible. For that sounds great. To learn more oh, about yeah. We love Drag yeah. Box. People, It'll be on work.tv. Mm-hmm. And hopefully we'll be successful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, we <laughs> talked about Drag Race for They're really, an they're hour. not even. <laughs> well, but <laughs> that's Drag Box. We only do that like a couple times a year. So I, <laughs> I don't know how that works. I listen to a lot of Drag Race. So what is the best advice? There's too many of them. But I don't think there's a lot of drag podcasts that don't talk about Well, I mean, the thing, the funny thing is after our podcast, so many in New York have popped up. No, I guess. But I don't really listen to. I used to only listen to podcasts because the I used to have very long commutes. Now I don't Ducky, listen to any podcasts, like, so I don't know what's going when on. When Ducky's concerned I only listen about to them, like, an image or um, something or the way we're going to come along. working mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. Even then, I'm like only absorbing half the information. Yeah. A concern about but, um, I mean, that's the cool thing about podcasts is that, like that you, know, I always you just leave yeah. it on the background. Tell him what RuPaul tells yeah. everyone. Like, um, are those, and they're not paying you a should we King get into how we met, them. or is that? What is it? We can talk about it. If, if you're those, not, if, if, have if those bitches not ain't paying your bill, pay them bitches um, not mine. Yeah. No yeah. Mind. And I say, I think there was an instance before this, I but heard, I know but this I is a big moment. Like, it was like when we went to Untitled Queens Ball. Oh yeah, the first one, the first one, the Strawberry Social. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and a lot of times, I guess, you're like, outside as a with someone. You might think I don't someone's unhappy, but a lot of times people mm-hmm. are focused on the Rufy. I would recognize Rufy. Yeah. Yeah. And this city, and this city, mean, or that's Tracy. That's where you are, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could have been her. I, um, one of them. I they both were there. Them, <laughs> and um, I said hi to it's whoever so there though. was there. <laughs> and I also, um, and I also said hi to you. Um, and um, I think it's my turn. Yeah, it's ways. your favorite. And then like my favorite a few weeks later, I think this question so we important. went to rock. I don't care what. Yeah, that's says. the only time I. <laughs> Who said it wasn't important? Uh, I, <laughs> I just think. Hey, the bitches don't mind because no one's paying our bills. No, I'm nervous. And Vicky, yes, that was why I was there because. Biggie. Can you mm. give us? And um, yeah, we started talking. The scandalous. There. I was like the crazy, sole audience member. Wild. Was, I just missed story like, just, like, that you've had. I just love seen, being the only one there. Heard of <laughs> or it's um, for the performers. So for me, I'm like, oh, this um, is perfect. This is how I enjoy in drag <laughs> nightlife. I can have you. As, give us um, juicy, much as it sucks for money, money wise, like <laughs> doing a show just for okay, your friends. Yeah, it's fun. It's kind of fun. Um, on, but yeah, we started talking from that. Don't worry, we, like, um, I didn't prep so yeah, more fault. mutual. Yeah. <laughs> we just, like, we just um, also kept other. being okay, at the so, same places. Yeah, because yeah. then you would come to mm-hmm. Wepo Wednesday. Um, when, um, oh, I forgot about support, that. To support two Freya. Two um, I forgot about that. One of the week um, and then I feel like Ultimate Drag Project was like, oh yeah, yeah. Didn't get to choose because I was there almost every either every week or every other week. I didn't go to all of them. Um, smart. I went um, to like too many of them. Let's mm-hmm. be honest. Uh, this um, weekend, yeah, we. I don't know so, like, how we got in the idea of doing a podcast. Well, but no, I know how. Saturday so you did the was, AIDS like, number, Sunday and I was for was Adam. Was right. At okay. Ultimate so Drag Pageant, I, I was like, "Who the hell Friday is this queen? Night. She's really interesting." And, I stayed and then I was like, "Oh, I really miss doing interviews because, like, it had been my book. My book had come out like a year or two before I interviewed you." I was like, "Oh, I really would love to go do more interviews for work, even though I freaking hate transcribing." 
That's why I don't do as many interviews Mm -hmm. anymore. Like, so I I, online because I just I can't with transcribing. I just lose my mind. But um, I was like, oh, let's let's meet up for an interview. I'll do it for work. Dot com. Didn't we go to the High Line? We did go to the High Line. Oh my god, I remember this because I was working over there. Yeah. Um, and we. I'm we so connected, drunk, I guess. I didn't realize yeah, I do. Okay, I do remember. We realized we were like, because like, 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 my okay, interviews like, tend to be rat, very deep <laughs> and also very so long. We so um, we definitely connected, full of trash. Mm-hmm. We and trash we're like, oh, like we enjoy talking to each other. Let's keep doing that. Make it look like yeah. And then and we ordered. And then this was born. This is still so stupid in my head. I think one of the alternative names of the podcast was. I'm dressed like a New York. Anyone who's sister. Oh, are you gonna say it? Yeah, <laughs> As like we're gonna, you were uh, like we're gonna get canceled. Like well, I think I told it to some like one I'm of my so trans friends, and they're like, like mm, this pizza "I don't get it." <laughs> and so I, I was thought like, it was the, mm. a brilliant <laughs> idea, <laughs> but I'm actually glad we went with wigging out because yeah. of like longevity. Yeah. But like yeah. the cis term was like kind of new and like very you used a lot, used a lot. Yeah. No. So I was like, oh, it's like kind of funny because we're kind of like cis. Like I got well, I'm not. Uh, oh, you're not? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you? I thought we talked about no. this. Did we? I'm, See, I'm I learning more. Um, I, I identify I as agender, which is different day, than oh, non-binary. No. Oh, uh, it is? What is it? I think because non-binary is very like, <laughs> I was, like the specific boss, and like that outside that time, like, of male, female. Really? I thought uh, non-binary is just inclusive of everything. Not necessarily. Like um, like it's very. It's supposed to be like the outliner of the binary. So like around. they don't Love see that. themselves in that system. Both and you me, and gender just have like your craziest stories without gender. Like, Iconic. I don't I know. Know. Yeah. Me, basically. Yeah. Um, Sounds like you guys have. Like, I'm gonna call care. you sis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Name for the so our last okay. question. This is we're officially rebranding as sister sister. Which is funny because now like sister sister was on. Well, right now we're kind of uh, was on UK uh, leaving yeah. New York. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah. I, I, I so I've always thought of that like the second we're, day in we're ha- name, which I don't really like get that as a drag name. Smaller sure. cities. And okay. Then, like, I, it just reminded me of the TV show. Yeah. Kind of and I'm like, girl, you're not a smaller T-O. Also, like, um, <laughs> sister sister <laughs> also reminds me of on like, um, Holland. They had. You know, now we have this like New York experience. We have this entrepreneurship. I mean, I can't really give. Uh, I can't really bitch about people's names because mine's really stupid. <laughs> but I feel like it's sometimes it's just like random mm. just things. Like, mm. So much competition. My favorite yeah. is still like um, banana like, toothpaste. You can be Who's booked that? for weeks and weeks. I think they're, I don't know if they still so, like, perform in Brooklyn, sense, but they were at NYU with like, me. How this oh. um, and they got adopted by. Yeah. So I think I don't. Go figure out oh. a smaller city. Figure I don't out know. The um, who I would also like that. on this podcast. Being respectful, of course, Someone like, let her know. Like being like, Bitches in my um, I mean, nah. we follow each other on Twitter, so maybe we'll mention it. But we have that yeah. experience of taking that's our little shit show. Yeah, yeah. So that's, cool. that's like, kind of the recap of how we met. I know. So I definitely like. So we ask like three questions. At the end of every episode. To every Small, queen, in case anyone has been realizing that, so that we follow eventually a we can't. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I was but ask, um, yeah. so I feel like we but should use this because we never use these three questions. My on each personal other. goal with drag. I want Did we not? I don't think I feel so. Like- yeah. I feel like oh yeah. <laughs> we can, I well, we can talk about it in like the last. I think our answers have probably TV changed. Okay. Years. Years. So sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you so blue in Japanese? So best advice they've been given no. in drag. Okay. Well, <laughs> Ducky or advice is our drag yeah. So like my job would be like reacting. Um. For me. <laughs> like t- tasting weird stuff or like mm. whatever. Like I'll, I'm game for anything. I like this. I don't know, yeah. I don't know who this gave me this. It's just like, I mean, I feel like so many queens going. left in like, the pandemic to go to other cities. You might like have a bad from. night. You might have but a bad But I feel like most people have been pretty doing pretty well in these or something, other spots. But like eventually yeah. you'll find an oh, audience yeah. and you'll yeah, keep sure. or like adapt you see, them. Like, you see Nicole and Oscar Pete. Like it's always like yeah. amazing mm-hmm. try to keep in mind that like everything Portland. you do is for you Oregon, yeah. and not yeah. for everybody or else like, uh, i guess but like ha- finding that happy middle Fall, ground is also a good thing but um, stuff, yeah uh, just keep EDGs, doing it also, try th- like, don't be afraid to like experiment from and shit their home cities, but they um, still have that newer audience and yeah, exactly. If they're not paying your bills, I think you'll. I mean, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> we know. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Drag's too so serious nowadays. This is a serious bitch. <laughs> 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 
queen. Um, what what a good way. Yeah, just, I don't know. I, I still do it because I like having um, fun. I like it so much for great way for You're so inspiring. Like, I feel like I don't do anything with my life. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking about our podcast. I'm like, we just Be plan yourself. these things like so yeah. last minute. <laughs> <laughs> so my best, I mean, I have so. But you guys are doing it, and I wish I could be but, more um, chocolate stuff. But um, I think if you're serious freak, about your drag and you want to be <laughs> taken, I guess I mean, seriously, that's a good or, like, trait to have sometimes. Stuff, so like, yeah, show up, we definitely don't put yourself that out no. there. <laughs> really <laughs> hustle. Where can the have kids find you on the media. internet? This is like a lot of things. It's like a lot of But like, take it if you have. Let's say. Um, if you like actually like want to kind of make it like treat it as an actual career same as far as like balls. do all the work <laughs> get your makeup right get your costumes right i'm i'm not learn, much of the dance or if the, like that's your thing like the learn, learn a performance part style that of works the six, for you that would I'm also like work for the like audience the, always keep the audience in mind always keep the audience in mind like seriously like actually like but I get what you're mean. I get what you mean. Consistently <laughs> through the eyes of someone else. I feel you. I don't like it. Because mm -mm. you should like but, have an, um, like an objective. And then your view YouTube like, channel is. At... Would I want to see this person? Would I want to follow this person online? Would I give them a Beautiful. tip? Like, what um, makes you excited for that, other people's drag? The... Try to just steal okay. all of that. Not literally like. But like, what's your podcast? Too late. I know. I've seen too many things actually. But um, just steal all the good parts of like what you enjoy about anyone else's drag. It could be someone on Drag Race. Could be someone on Dragula. I highly recommend just knowing your local scene. See what works for other people and try to apply it to yourself and just take it. I think you should, if you want to, like, if it's not just a dumb hobby that you're doing all the time. Tell like actually people. Yeah. I've known <laughs> a lot of girls who've made it. Uh, and well, thank you. Like but if that's like. Thank you so much. If you just babe. want to be like a paid book um, performer, like I get your social media right. And this was. No, what works for the audience. No, what you enjoy about drag and try to bring your own side to it. Be original, but also keep everyone in mind. Um, I think both of our answers are as people. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, no business savvy. Pepper, like, you can follow me on Instagram. Well, so, like, look, if, 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 if you're just doing it for art's sake, and read my or if you're book, doing The State of Drag, where I interviewed 175 like drag queens from around the world, all proceeds go to charity on Amazon.com. Like, yeah. But Ooh, if you're like I love serious that. about it, you can and, follow like, me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Drag the Martyr. And if you have any thoughts, comments, dick pics, send them to Drag the Martyr at gmail.com. You Listen, rate, look and review us Fresh on look at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, so SoundCloud, Google Play, oh, and Pandora. Put yourself out there. Just, and catch I, up with me, past like, episodes like, on work.com. The they're on the show because they have a hustler mentality. And if you are serious about Artwork your drug and like, actually want to take it Glitter baby online. That's Glitter baby online. It doesn't have to be like Thank you. business savvy. <laughs> it's just more like, what do you like to consume? If you go on someone's um. Instagram and you and you decide to follow them, why do you follow them? Like, what images are working for them that you think could you could apply to yourself? Like, as far as mm. like professionally, like photographed, like great costumes, great wigs, good content, good like funny Instagram stories, whatever it is. Steal everyone else's idea, apply it to yourself, bring a spin to it, and just hustle. Put yourself out there. That's just me. <laughs> no, I think that's good advice. Yeah. And some some of that I need to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is also like, um, where am I going with this? I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, like sometimes like self promotion is also a huge one. <laughs> I'm just gonna mm. keep ranting. Self promotion is a big thing. If you cannot promote yourself then this is not the industry for you if you're like serious about it want to be professional if you're not doing this mm. as like a side hobby um promote everything make sure people know where to find you if you are on let's say a podcast like ours or like whatever promote the hell out of it like mm. you're doing uh, you're making yourself look good for whoever it is you're working for and you're getting people to either follow you or like find you to give you more tips whatever it is like promote 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 that's it. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. Um, no, I think that's great advice. And cause... like, I, I know because I've I've worked in so many types of media that deals with drag queens directly. I like, there's so many rude girls who can't even promote whatever it is. Like, they they're bad at that. So, yeah. I think that's like, I don't know. I because I 
the only time I don't promote something is when I don't want anybody to see me. <laughs> yeah, well, fine. There's been if a few. There's been a few. But like, yeah, there's been a few things I had had to do that for. In general, but, if you're putting yourself out there and like doing a podcast, doing a a live show, doing like something online, if no one knows about it, why are you doing it? <laughs> Katie. for real like just why Katie, like you should really re- reassess why you're doing things because i don't understand why um shall we go on to our next question yeah this is your question i oh, do have question. an answer oh my gosh so... um, good because i need to think about mine <laughs> okay i'll go first but you can ask the question um uh, caitlin yeah mm. wow. <laughs> um what is the craziest thing that you have witnessed in nightlife <laughs> give us something juicy <laughs> so this wasn't technically nightlife and i'm okay. not i ha, I can't put all the details of this one because it's a little bit sensitive but um so one time <laughs> um there was this gig that i was assisting with because i don't do drag i always I, i'm either assisting or i'm just an audience member and um i was assisting with this gig and it was the way it was described for the person I was assisting for was like, oh, you're going to be performing for a bunch of teenagers on like a party bus. And I wasn't supposed to go on the bus. I was supposed to just like hold people's shit basically and let them perform. No, they're like, no. So the bus comes, the person's in full drag. It's there's a bunch of performers involved. The bus comes. They're like, Oh, you have to get on the bus because I was holding everyone's cell phone. Like I didn't know where the bus was going. No one knew where the bus was going. Um, they're like, you have to get on the bus. So I go on the bus, and it's all children, <laughs> and it's children for like, like five or six big, not big, but like New York City prominent drag performers performing for like a twelve-year-old's birthday party, and so. The performer I was with dressed really sexy because they just thought it was, like, for teenagers. But, like, not too sexy, but, like, sexy enough. And it, almost everyone on the bus was under, like, 10. Oh, my God. And, <laughs> like, they were just, they were, like, rich kids from Long Island. I can tell you that much. They were rich kids from Long Island. Like, it, they they were all bilingual. So, like, but they didn't really, like, they wouldn't really speak English if they don't have to, basically. Because they, like, mm-hmm. come from you know another culture um Mm -hmm. and it was just like the weirdest like it was just seeing drag in such a strange way because it was clearly like all the performers are like doing what you would do it like not not like super sexy or like anything raunchy at all but like yeah they were all like dressed up as like pop stars and stuff but like doing stuff that they would do at like a manhattan bar or like nightclub for a bus of like almost exclusively under 10 year old children. But the funny part was all the parents were there and they were freaking living for it. And I, it was just the funniest thing. And like the bus was going fast and the, the girls performing like were like falling over because the trying to perform on the bus, falling over for these 10 year olds who were not interested. The birthday girl was not about this thing. Like clearly like the parents just like forced the kid to have it. This like event. But so after all that craziness, um, <laughs> they come out, the bus stops, like everyone comes out to take a picture, whatever. And then um, the tip, the tips they made from that party were crazy. Good. <laughs> and it was literally everyone just did one number and that was it. And like they were on a bus all around Manhattan. And it was just like the most bizarre thing I've ever had to deal with with drag. It like wasn't. It was fine. Like, no one did anything, like, bad. But it was just, like, a weird environment for children. <laughs> Cause, like, it's I know, not what I was expecting. Because <laughs> I know, like, well, kids will, like, get, like, uh, princess impersonators yeah. to come to their party. Yeah. But, like, I don't know what some of these pop stars are. I can't oh, so it was So it was just, um, like, it was, like, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, J-Lo. But, like, the kids were so young, they don't know who any of these kids are, um, people are. The only one they knew was, like, Lady Gaga, I think. That was it. Wow. So That's it's, like, clearly, like, bizarre. they were booked for the adults, but it was, like, 30 kids. It wasn't, like, like 10 or 15. It was, like, 30 kids, almost all under the age of 10. Especially, wow. like, the, the ones you could tell, like, the straight boys are just, like, what the, where am I? What am I looking at? <laughs> At least one gay boy was oh, born I'm that sure day. Oh, I'm sure there was some, uh, yeah, I was like, there's some coming out of the closet going to happen. But, like, oh, my God, that was wow. the craziest. Nothing will ever top that, I don't think. That's 
<laughs> yeah, that's wild. I because like even being like out of drag, like daylight passing by a child, I'm like, get away from me. Yeah, <laughs> so. like and look, I'm I'm I I'm a hundred percent for like drag queen story hour. I think kids should mm-hmm. be exposed to like different identities and dra- drag in general, like day drag or whatever, is totally fine. Like I'm a hundred percent for that. I want kids to be exposed to that in a, in a, like a mm-hmm. positive way, and, like nothing non kid friendly, but. Yeah. This environment was just, it was just the most bizarre experience I've ever had with drag. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, how do I go from there? Well, I have what, a few the ideas. The second I, 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 like, this all happened, I was like, oh, this got to go on the podcast. Like, there's no way. I remember you telling me about it. I'm so, like, yeah, there's no, no way I'm not talking about this. This is um, insane. <laughs> I feel like I told one of these stories, but I'll do both of them. Okay. Um, so there's one performer formerly in Brooklyn. Okay. They now live in LA. Um, okay. Shanita Bump. Okay. <laughs> I, I adore Shanita with all my being. Um, they they found their quarantine bay and like they're like basically married at this point. But nice. that's besides the point. I'm good for them. Shanita Shanita's fucking thriving at this moment. Um, Shanita likes to do. I'm f- I'm familiar with her, her work. She likes to do alternative horror kind of acts performances. Yeah. Um. And so she's done one where she's been the scream killer, like cereal, and she's like twerked with a cereal bowl on her ass, which was amazing. She's swallowed a live goldfish on oh, you stage. Told me that. <laughs> um. But the one I think about and the one I witness that still sticks in my mind is when she shoved. A few hot dogs up her vagina. Or I, did she take them out of her vagina because they were already there? don't remember. But she definitely had hot dogs. Fresh, uncooked hot dogs Ugh. out of her vagina. Um, and I think that's iconic. <laughs> were they um, all the way up there? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I did not ask. Um, Cause I'm like, how far can you like really like shove she, a hot she, dog? She 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 definitely had some in the, in there. Um, but she she is like great in the horror and shock fa- the, uh, factor in performance, and I love them dearly. Most recently, I can think of is they did a porno or they, they not a porno. They have an OnlyFans. They did oh, okay. OnlyFans content mm-hmm. where they're dressed like a zombie. And um, we're giving their partner a blowjob um, uh, dressed like a zombie. And the dick was a little bloody. Um, <laughs> it, it was it was interesting to, to look at on my Twitter timeline. But, um, <laughs> I only not the see typical porn I look at. Like, yeah, um, I only see them on Twitter. So I, I've never met them. But um, Shanita is a sweetheart and I love their drag. I hope they get in Dragula if they want to do it. Still. It sounds very Dragula. Separate. Yeah. Um, but the other story, which I feel like I've talked about before, it's the infamous spring of people shitting on stage. Oh, God. <laughs> so there was a competition. It was my first like introduction to Brooklyn um, called Mix BK, mm-hmm. formerly Mrs. BK, but now mm-hmm. it's Mix because uh, we've had non-binary performers and winners. Um, and the first one I remember was... Harajuku, formerly Harajuku, now Chiquita, um, doing um, Let the Rain Fall Down, the Hillary Duff song, is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. Um, into a kiddie pool where um, she douched live on stage. Um, and okay. luckily for this performance, she was very clean beforehand. <laughs> oh, I was so. like, oh God, I, would, I just wouldn't want to see it if it's all um so that was a very messy night now i think about it because now um uh, my roommate linda felcher also did a number involving an enema um but this enema had fake blood and she uh it was around her neck and she squirted it and it got everywhere (laughs) um not a fan of like which when it gets on me not a fan. yeah which was also (laughs) iconic because i remember the finale was at this venue um weeks later and like the blood was still on like some of the parts of like the the building which Shit. amazing um and then the one i think about often um i don't know if i should say her name um okay. i don't, I don't think she to. performs anymore but oh, okay. it's um i know she's a dj um i'll do it uh she had a campaign leading up to this performance where she was like it was like hysterical and i think about this a lot it was just um she was like, I'm a performance artist. I went to art school. Like, being, like, very, like, fake in, like, that kind of regard. Um, 
and then this performance was um the artist is present was like streaming like or like a clip from it was like streaming on a projector right next to her and she was doing a little song i don't remember what it was but halfway through she douches with waffle mix and then proceeds to shit on a waffle iron. Oh yeah, you told me. Cook this. it and then eat it. And the rumor is, I didn't witness most of this or smell most of this. Oh god. The rumor is she wasn't fully cleaned. Oh no. Um, <laughs> and it smelled. Uh, and it smelled for a few weeks. Um uh, So, I think about that a lot. And that night in uh, particular cause th- that was the night I was performing in that um competition and i met some of my long time brooklyn friends there um and i also looked probably the best i've ever looked um the first time i wore my high priestess outfit um out and um yeah it was a special night and that, it was just a night that was filled with poop <laughs> um but yeah um that was the crazy literally, literally the craziest weeks it was like my first time in Brooklyn too, so <laughs> that's a very welcome to Brooklyn moment. Yeah, I, I I felt like I was like, oh, I'll fit in here. Yeah, yeah. I'll be I'll be okay. Yeah, yeah don't so. worry about it. Okay, and we'll just end the show how we usually end things. Mm-hmm. Where do you want to take your show? Take your drag, whatever it is mm-hmm. the hell you're working on in the next two years. <laughs> Since we're, uh, we're at the two year anniversary. Yeah, two years. Oh, that's so interesting. Cause like I want more for this podcast. Me obviously. too. Um, I mean, as I've we said do it, nothing, we do nothing we do to nothing. like actually try to do that. But in yeah. our heads, we like the idea of it. <laughs> I mean, I would love to get on a network. Um, I feel like we do enough good work that we should. Yeah. Um, and I love our partnership with work. So, um. I just want to do more content with this somehow. Maybe having a show would be a good idea. I, like, I'm uh, just like, you know what? I think we talked about it before, like, we doing an anniversary have, show. But... Or even just, yeah, we talked about it pre-pandemic. But even yeah. just, like, I don't know. I would love to do even, like, a talent show. But not not a talent show the way, like, we've experienced it. Like, a talent show, yeah. like, people would actually want to do. You know what I mean? Like, a, a talent show... That's not a competition. Like no one wins like, anything. Like a comp- <laughs> no, like a competition, but it's not like the way you've experienced competitions in New York. Uh, okay. Like something that people would actually want to do. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. Just throwing um, ideas out there. <laughs> yeah, I because I I would love to get more people involved and hear yeah. their stories and shit. Do a it, little. I like. I've just missed. Like I'm not obvious. I don't really do any sort of performance in New York, but mm-hmm. I would just I just miss like connecting with people. So. Yeah. Um, I feel like I, I've had this critique for some other competitions that I will not name. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think we have the standing, the social standing to be like, we're going to be the judges. No, I would um, want to host it. Oh, see, I would want to be a judge. Oh, you want to judge? <laughs> I mean, we could do yeah. the Boulay brothers host and judge. Oh my gosh. Um, but I wouldn't even I, mind doing like a because we talked about it with Gina, I think on her episode. Like I wouldn't even mm-hmm. mind doing like a TikTok competition, just something short and oh sweet God, that we don't okay. have to do much for. <laughs> um, we're gonna do an Instagram drag competition where we have fantasy league as a drag race contestant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! When I first started drag, that's all who would follow me was all these like comp- like fake competitions on. Oh Instagram. yeah, what the hell is that? I keep seeing because I'm trying to like build a presence for works on Instagram, and that's all mm-hmm. I keep seeing everywhere. It's um, really weird. some of them are like bedroom queen like competitions, mm-hmm. which I think that's a good uh platform. Pre- yeah, platform for that. Um, I've been obsessed with some other like um amateur drag stuff. Like uh, there was a budget rupaul's drag race um hosted by some like college kids in like pennsylvania that uh, it was all on youtube and like it was like early drag race it was that energy and it was so good and so dramatic i think they called it like jew paul's drag race and the host was called jew paul because i guess he was jewish i don't know Sounds i'm, like I'm it. just Sounds like i'm it. just quoting them i'm not saying that as <laughs> um, someone who's half jewish you can say it <laughs> okay. um and yeah so i was obsessed with that um Anyways, back to me <laughs> yeah. and the podcast. Um, 
yeah um drag wise i want to perform more um i i do i do have dragula ambitions not for this next season but maybe a Maybe a season or two, you might see me. Who knows? That um, sounds like someone who's auditioning right now would say. I, I literally am not auditioning. I promise you I am not auditioning. <laughs> I know um, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't think I'm currently ready, um, but I, I want to get there. Um, and so right now, that's like a big goal um, to get ready for Dragula uh, season five, season six. Who knows? Um and uh just keep producing photography series um love what i love when i do shoot and create like a whole narrative that way um and then yeah i i want to get reacquainted with the drag scene here because i I miss everybody Mm -hmm. um and soon i'll be vaccinated and soon i can be sucking dick in the rosemont again so you know (laughs) i've never done that I have been in the room where people were doing coke in the bathroom, that's and I just Brooklyn. I just did poppers, and I think someone's dick was out. I don't remember. <laughs> what a wonderful night! I know. Um, what about you, Caitlin? I know you talked about the. Yeah, po- I mean, boys, I don't but... have any grand ambitions, honestly. Literally, all I want right now is just another show. <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> so we'll see what's going on with like my personal life. Um. So Caitlin's gonna help me to get on Dragula season five. Honestly, that's, I'm just like, <laughs> that's her goal. I know, right? Kidding. Um, let's see. What well, I wanted to say is up there. I can't, it's like escaping me. Um, oh, I just kind of like want to grow the podcast. I want to like to have mm. more listeners. I know yeah. we're nobodies, but I would like us to be a semi nobody, like a slightly I above be, a nobody. What kind of level of fame do I want to be? Danny Bonaducci. That's the level of fame I want to be. That's, I mean, he's fairly famous. Partridge he's a name, was... but no one Part... likes him. Well, and no I'm okay with him, that. Like, Partridge family, that was the shit. Yeah, back in like the 60s, 70s, 70s. Yeah, 70s. Uh, I like the Partridge family. I That was just a name I pulled out of the planet. Literally, I just want like more people. Like, it's, an, it's not because I'm not an egocentric person. Like, mm-hmm. I don't care how many followers I have, like stuff like that. But I do want people to, like actually listen to, yeah, the, the I think, work we produce. Yeah, if that makes um, sense. <laughs> I mean, any type of content production, I I just want eyes on it or yeah. ears. Um, so we'll see if we can grow it. I mean, we say all these things and then we do absolutely nothing. We do the bare yeah. minimum. <laughs> We're lazy girls. It's We're just lazy. Like, yeah. So we'll see. There's, I mean, honestly, just seeing normal drag again, that's like my number one goal right now. Like, I just miss going to shows and seeing people. I think things are going to start opening up again. Yeah. So I mean, we'll it's see. already, it's slowly happening in New York. Yeah. I feel like the pandemic, like, forced us to, like, appreciate what we have. Yeah. And I, I was, I was so burnt out before the pandemic happened, and then the pandemic happened, and now I'm, oh I'm refreshed. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Um, I just need that. I just need that Moderna or Pfizer. Yeah. But or we'll AstraZeneca. <laughs> what, I I don't even know that one. Oh, that's it's, it, it's basically what happened to Johnson and Johnson, but a little bit worse with like the side uh, effects. So they uh, they stopped it. Like they never brought it to the U.S. Like it's gotcha. here, but like they never administrated it. Gotcha. Well, um, that's our little catch up. That's Yay. our two year anniversary, kids. It's been a ride, and we appreciate everybody that listens to us. Yeah, we appreciate uh, all our guests. We do. Um, we have some lovely guests. Um, some of them I wish might come back. We'll see. I've I've but, had some ideas of getting certain people back. Um, yeah. Uh, if you are like, if you've done drag for more than two years and you listen to our podcast and like you are interested in the show, I can't guarantee you'll get on, but I'd love to just. You know, audition for us. Yeah, I'd love to just like, you know, I'm, especially either in New York or even out of New York. Like, I just mm-hmm. like to hear people from different walks of life. Like, that's what I like to do. So, um, and feel free DM, to DM. DM me, Caitlin, or the Wigging Out podcast Instagram. Yeah, yeah we need more um, Instagram followers, everyone. Su- or, you know, send me a dick pic if you want. I don't care. Um. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm literally going to turn our Wigging Out um, Instagram into work.com part two where it's just memes <laughs> I'm, I'm, pro- I'm pulling the I'm hey fine. queen instagram that i used to run 
Do it. Memes. I'm fine with it. Um, but I was Martyr. I was Steve Tickler. And this was Wigging Out two year anniversary Yay, special. We did it. Woo. Woo. Um, here's to two more bitches. I hope more than two. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. If, if we'll we could get through to two, two more, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Imagine a decade on this. <laughs> we could though. The, the thing, the we way could. our thing is set up, like we could go forever. But we're um, not going to do that. We're not going forever. We'll but. see. Bye, kids. <laughs>